did some analysis of how much um, train tickets actually cost sort of per minute of the journey that you're, you're, you're on. So it's equivalent to a premium rate phone call. So if you imagine if you're taking an hour each way every day on your train, well, you know how much your phone bill is going to be at the end of the month. So really short-sighted to the government. What they should be doing is investing in affordable, convenient public transport rather than investing in loads and loads of new roads. That way they'd sort out the obesity crisis, the public health crisis, and they'd clean up all our air. It's a growing trend of people working part-time, people working flexibly, and we've had some terrible stories about people on zero hours contracts who maybe have to travel before they are certain that they're going to be working that day. So it's really important that fares are as fair and flexible as possible to reflect uh, the world we work in. People quite fairly are asking, well, why are we having to pay even more for, um, in many cases, a service that's getting worse? Follow us on Twitter or sign up to our bulletins or come along to actions like this and take part in the, the hopefully fun stuff we'll be doing in the future.